Hi, Jessica. This is my Fit Life Now, and today we have a workout for you on the floor um, for your arms and abs. Um, dumbbells are optional, but you don't need them for this workout. We're going to get started. We're going to go we'll start with an elbow plank. We're going to do two exercises back to back, repeating, and uh, yeah, we'll start with an elbow plank. So I like to start here, grabbing onto your biceps, so put your elbows down on the ground. So your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. We're gonna go up to our toes. We're gonna do a little seesaw. So timer is going here. We're just gonna either hold here or you can shift your body weight forward and backward. So you've warmed up already. So we're not hurt going right into this and hurting your shoulders. Leaning forward and going back as far as you can. Pulling that tummy up nice and tight. Making sure we're not reaching with the face down. So pulling the head back. Now I'm in the modification as you guys can see. So for those that need some easier options for this, Program, you can follow along with me. So keeping that chin pulled back, pull the belly up, couple of seconds left here. Nice big seesaw. Awesome. You can drop to the knees if you'd like for this next one. We have 15 seconds to rest. Actually, sorry, we're going to stay on the elbows to start. We're going to go the legs nice and wide. So this from your knees or your toes, we're going to do walk ups. We're going to go right, left, right, left, and then switch left, right, left, right. Here we go. I'm going to go my knee toes, and here we go. Up, up. Down, down, other side. Up, up, down, down. I'm trying to keep my hips as square to the floor as I can. Good, using my breath. You can go as fast or as slow as you like here. The one thing I notice with some people when they do these is that they take their hands and they come up way up here. Oh yeah, bring it close. You want your hand to go where your eye was. So that way your hand is right underneath the shoulder. And when you come up, the second thing is soft elbows, meaning that your elbows are not locked. Yes. A little stretch. You have 10 seconds here. We're going to go back into the seesaw for the second set. We'll go seesaw and those walk ups, and then we're going to change our position and give those shoulders a rest. So roll them out. Here we go. Biceps grab, elbows under the shoulders, seesaw. I'm going to bring my feet closer together for this one. Forward and back. When you're doing your planks, feet closer together is harder. Your legs wider, makes it easier. Shoulders are warm, yes? Yeah. And we want to lift, we don't want to sink down, we want to lift up out of the shoulders. So even as you fatigue, don't come down until the shoulders stay lifted. So hold the breath, breathe. Pull up into that lower belly. Good, keeping the elbows stacked underneath the shoulders for one more time. We're going to do those walk-ups. Your breath. Shoulders are warm. All right, legs nice and wide makes this easier. Here we go. So up, up, down, down. And just like Jess said, bring that hand nice and close underneath you. Up. So when you're here, you're nice and stacked. Down, down. Keeping the hips square. Drop to the knees at any time. Take a rest. Challenge yourself all the way through. Even on the knees, I'm finding this super tough. Down. Down, square the hips. Think about your hips. <laughs> Arms are easy. How are you doing, Christy? <laughs> Super! Thanks for oh. asking. A little stretch here. All right, we're going to go up. Hunt your hands one more time. If they're sore, give them a little shake out. We're going into downward dog position. Oh, and we're going to do push ups. Yay! <laughs> Love these. Here we go. So, downward dog position. Push those weight, the weight back a little bit, but give yourself a stretch. And then you're going to go to your toes. Keep your bum up in the air. Bend the elbows. The top of your head is coming towards the floor. Good. So I want you to go nice and slow. Inhale down. Exhale, push away. Now, if the push-ups are too tough, just hold down her dog. Oh, yes, for sure. You can, this is tough. Enough on the shoulders, especially after those other exercises. Yeah. Good. We're going to go down to the belly for the next exercise in just a moment. Awesome. All right. We're going to come down to your belly, and we're going to extend the arms out. Keep your eyes down the whole time. We're going to lift and pull, and release and come down. Now, if you want to tip the challenge a bit more, dumbbells. Exhale. Jesse, I need to talk here. <laughs> now, one thing I always tell my clients when they're doing these is almost like you're trying to cut your elbows behind your back. And that way it's going to bring the shoulders down and really activate into those lats. Now, if you're really feeling this, some people feel it kind of in their hips and stuff here. Engage the belly to help protect that area through there. 
So we're exhaling as we're lifting. You don't have to go into a super high extension, so you can stay lower if that's more comfortable for the body. But if you feel like you can push, you can come up high. That is okay. so much harder to do. I thought it was gonna be. I told her to pick up ones or twos, and she's like, no, I'm gonna agree. <laughs> no problem. So I didn't get quite as high on that extension, but that is my goal. <laughs> I will be doing this again later. Downward dog push ups. Here we go, second step. Last time. So my legs a little bit, or my arms a little bit wider, letting my body weight come forward and push away, pushing my body weight away. So you can keep your body weight more in the legs to make this easier. These are really hard. These are really hard. If you shift your body weight forward more, these are going to be way harder. So play with that. And if I keep my heels down a little bit more, these are way easier. Oh. A couple of seconds, breathe through. Same way. Okay. Do I do it? <laughs> I will try it. If you will try it too. Okay, eyes staying down. As you lift the legs and the chest, um, you do a lap pull. Again, bracing the abs here, okay? This is also a core exercise. So brace the abs every time you come up. We're exhaling on that lift. Drawing shoulders down and away. Now my dumbbells are wanting to like slam down, so I'm really controlling them in both directions. You want to think about pulling the rib cage down towards the hips as you're up in that extension. I feel for you, Christy. Those are awesome. But now we're done. All right, we're going to do tricep push-ups. What was I thinking? No, no. From the knees, okay? Because I really want you to have a good form and a nice range of motion. So we're going to go in the fleshy front part of the knees, not the kneecaps. Okay, tricep push up starting right away. Now, and again, down, down. Exhale, push away. Follow Christine for the hard version. I'm going only down a little bit. That's why we're doing it from the knees. You want to go from the toes <coughs> and then challenge. But your arms may be gassed. So, now, now inhale down, exhale, push. You may notice there's a lot of shoulders, arms, but I call this arms and abs because. Your core should be working hard here in all of these exercises. So notice I'm spinning in child's pose a lot and just stretch out the shoulders. Now, for swimmers, we're gonna keep our eyes down again. We're gonna lift one arm on the opposite leg and then bring it down as you lift the other side up. Here we go. Lift. Now, if you want to challenge, if you can extend those arms with the dumbbells, palms stay down. Stretching through the back. So it is still part of your core, yes? Yes. God, you need to have a strong back to make those abs pop. And again, you want to think about engaging and lifting the abs with this too. Don't let them be soft on the mat. Keeping your eyes down. If you do need to turn your head to look at the video here, you're turning this way rather than looking up. Okay, try some push-ups. One more time. Take a couple of seconds here. Oh. All right. You ready? One more thing to do with these. Watch that the shoulders not up. So plug the shoulders I up. Think our timer switched here. Oh, give it a little, a little bit of a rest. Shake out those hairs. We're gonna fix the timer. We were uh, gonna go a little bit, uh, a little bit too long on that. Forty-five seconds is long enough. All right. Try step push-ups. Or thirty-five is long enough, not forty-five. Okay. So you choose knees or toes, alternate or start with your toes, and then drop to the knees when you feel the need to. Watch the shoulders don't come up to your ears. Pressing down, notice my wrists underneath my shoulders, belly button, hold up tight to the spine, 10 seconds left. Whew. My shoulders are on fire when I'm just doing little guys. Yeah, keeping that head back, so making sure we're not reaching with the face, especially when we get tired, Oh. Reach more, so keep that double chin back. Okay, come on down, swimmers. Grab the dumbbells. Challenge yourself. Remember, so opposite arm, leg, raise. Mm. Eyes stay down. We're not really lifting the chest a whole lot here. Just kind of arm, arm and leg. Opposite arm, leg. 
Use your breath. Exhale, lift. Weight's probably Ooh, make a huge difference, eh, Christine? Huge difference. I will not be washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Somebody might have to feed me. <sighs> my arms are not going to want to lift anything. Now, if you're feeling a lot of the low back, don't go as high. Breathe. Last one. Can we do one more? Oh, yes. Okay, we have two more X, two more. Two more sets of exercises. <laughs> this is a great workout. We don't get those arms enough, so you're going to feel this. Okay, um, we're going to go into a high plank again. Um, or on the knees if you prefer, but on your toes. So I want legs up nice and wide. We're going to exhale, squeeze, and now bring it back down. Exhale, squeeze. And so, arms working, shoulders stabilizing. But see how she's working her core super hard here. Belly's pulled up, and as you lift the arm, we're not rotating at all. Okay, I'm gonna add the dumbbells in with this one, of course. Now, if you have heavier ones for this exercise, you can, but I want you more focused on not rotating, keeping your back as still as you can, and legs wide will help you with that one. Good, we're gonna go back to our belly. Also, up and down, you're trying to get your arms, or so your wrists are rest. This time, we're gonna keep our head down, Maybe just slightly off the ground, so our sweaty head not touching the ground. We're just going to do some flies here. Lift, lift, lift. Since I have these dumbbells here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So think about squeezing between the shoulder blades as you lift, but again, shoulders down away from the neck. You can activate your traps on every yeah. exercise, and we don't want that. So yeah. drop a little bit behind you. It's so not right out to the side, just slightly behind you, especially if you feel that pull. Good. I actually like this better without the dumbbells. I yeah. feel like I'm working more rather than pulling. I'm getting much more of a burn Ooh. without the dumbbells. Yet. That's a good one. So try both and see what you like. Okay. Up for that row again. Again, using the dumbbells if you like. If not, that's okay, but I want you to go slow and focus on the pull. Really exhale all the way out as you pull. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. If you can't focus on the breathing as much, count. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Now, the other thing when you're doing these is that the body's going to want to shift to compensate pulling that weight. So really try and keep those hips square and engage all the muscles to square those hips that you can feel turning on rather than releasing and rotating okay. the hips. You want more of a challenge? Feet together. You're really going to notice that core fire. Good job. Out to the side. Feeling shaky? <laughs> oh, yeah. Eyes down. Good one. So, again, I'm just going to lift my head just a slight bit so I'm engaging that muscle so I'm not getting double chin all the time here. Arms are slightly behind, so kind of thumbs in line with the shoulders. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your abs. I would say almost like press your pelvis down a little bit oh, yeah. and lift up through the core. All of a sudden my arms are feeling like cement. <laughs> so Ooh. again, adding those, I'm just not getting enough. I'm feeling it more in my elbow where I don't want that. I want to feel this through my back. Arms are on fire. I think we're Alicia Keys right now. All right. We're going to come up to so, seated position. Woo. We'll go back to back. Here, oh, the feet to feet. Okay, it's not. Always smiling at a friend. Okay, so we'll need one dumbbell for this one. Yeah, or not. We're going to do a lean back, stay here, open one arm, bring it in, sit up. Oh, good, yeah, one at a time. Lean back, open, and come up. Now we use a dumbbell. Lean back, hold. I should get shaking here. Slow as you like, open, fire, bring it in, up, change hands. Lean back. One arm stays center. Feel how your leg kind of wants to drop out a little bit? Yeah. Good. Especially with the weight, I wanted to compensate by letting that alternate opposite leg drop. And I wanted to feel that fire in the core so I don't do that. All right. Tricep down. We're almost done, you guys. Almost done. Lifting that bum up. Um, wrist underneath the shoulders. We're just going to dip, not through the hips. Okay? We're going to bend. The elbows press. Now, some of you guys may have a hard time fingers forward. You can change the position of your hands for this exercise. What feels best 
for your body. And I always feel like fingertips towards your bum is best, but some people say it bothers them and they go like this way. Yeah, I, I can't go that way. Yeah, that doesn't really feel great for me. Yeah. <laughs> Anatomically correct me. <laughs> Good, and watch that I'm not sinking in through those shoulders. So I'm trying to keep my chest lifted and just bending at the elbows. Bends. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, we're down. One more time. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> so much harder. We're going to lean back as far as you can, keeping that chest up, shoulders and hips in line. Breathe. Opening that arm up. Shaking. Shaking is good. Sit up, change hands. Lean back. Open without letting anything else move. Just like we've been focusing for the other exercises. Not, I'm sure you guys can see with us that our backs are straight, so we're not curving into our pelvis or spine here. But we're staying straight through the movement. Yeah, as soon as you round your back, your abs have to shut off. So you can see me shaking, vibrating. Oh, she is vibrating. <laughs> like, oh, that hurt. Earthquake exercise. Okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, tricep dips. This is it. Last 35 seconds of work here. Find yourself in a good form. Smiling. Happy that we're done. Uh, this was a challenging workout. Uh, <sighs> Good job for sticking through. Now, anytime you're doing a workout with us here and you feel like you don't, you can't quite finish the time, just stop when you need to stop. Okay, we're here to challenge you all the way through. If your body is telling you to take a rest, take it. This is absolutely your workout. Absolutely. <laughs> My word. Love it. Chinese pull up. Good again, all the way here. Ooh. It's pushing through my arms. All oh, right. Okay, you guys, you're definitely gonna need to stretch here. Oh, yeah. Do what feels good for you. Follow a stretch video and uh, lots of water. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank you for joining us.